Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about Big Time. Big Time's been getting a lot of notoriety since they launched their token, and so we're going to talk about it here. First of all, I probably made a very clickbaity title. I just want to say I can't tell you if the price is going to go up or down. I just want to give you some insight from my point of view into the Big Time project and what's going on at the moment. If you're new here, please like and subscribe and let's jump into this. The first thing I'm going to say right up front is this video has not been paid for in any way by Big Time, which you can probably guess based on the topic. But the reason I'm saying that is because 99.9% .9 of all the videos you look, if you look up big time, are paid advertising from the team to KOLs. Now, not that there's anything wrong with that. I do pay ads myself sometimes. I just want to make that very apparent, even though some of them aren't saying it there. You can pretty much guarantee they're all paid for because I know a lot of people in the space and they've approached me in the past as well. So I'm just putting that out there. Now, of course, there's some organic and there's also a lot of people bullish right now. So there's going to be more content, of course, with the token. But keep that in mind as you look through things. And so I just want to give maybe another side to the story that you might not be seeing. Now, first of all, for those who aren't familiar, Big Time is a multiplayer action RPG. They're a Web3 game that's been building for quite some time. They have a large studio. If you want to check out the team, you can check out their website. There's more details there. I'm not going to dive into it too much here. And what they did was they gave access to the game via a tiers of NFTs, early access based on tiers of NFT. And the more expensive the NFT you got, the earlier you were able to get. And the earlier rounds of the pre pre season got better loot drops and basically better dungeons, which now is paying off. And that's one of the reasons we're getting a lot of hype at the moment. Some of the early players that got in at the top tiers, some of the KOLs that got in for free when they did earlier content have been now starting to make a lot of money with the token drop. I know some people that are making like $2,000 a day the past couple of days. We'll have to see if that holds with the distribution of the token and with the price of the token over time. But these are some of the numbers that are coming out. And so obviously this is getting a lot of hype. We're seeing a lot of sentiment, especially some some people that may have got the token at OKX at five cents and now it's gone up to 30 cents and then back back down. So we've seen a few people making a lot of money, which obviously makes for a bearish mentality. And we're going to see a lot more content around big time, I expect, in the next few days as this narrative continues. Another important note, and this is right from the website if you want to check it out, in order to play the preseason of big time where these tokens are actually being distributed to players, go through the dungeons, you need to meet a couple of potential criteria to actually play the game. So it's not free to play and not just anybody can download it and start playing this game. If you're watching this video now, you actually need to have redeemed one of the passes before the start of the preseason. You need to be a current holder of space. You need to achieve a rank of 20 in any patch prior to the preseason, which could have been the free to play aspect of this, or you need to have gained an access pass by a Twitch streamer. So there's a few different options. And I think there are still some streams giving out access. So if you're trying to play the game, you want to get access to the preseason, watch some of the Twitch streamers. That's one of their strategies with KOLs to get them more access to the game, which makes a lot of sense from a marketing standpoint. In general, I'm not very bullish on this game, I would say. And there's a few reasons for that that I'll point out. First of all, I don't want to undermine what they're doing. Hats off to the team. Obviously, the token launch was a success so far. The game you know, has aspects that look like a lot of fun, obviously. So they're doing something right. Not trying to undermine them. Just my personal opinions here. My interactions with the team in the past have been rather unprofessional, I would say. And that's not reflective of the whole team. That's just some of the individuals that I've dealt with and some of the individuals that have dealt with, especially the creators in the space. There's been a lot of complaints around big time in the past with the way they've been quite unprofessional, the way they handle certain things. But I'm not going to dive into that too much because like I said, not indicative of the whole team, just certain aspects. The other thing is is there are some, I would call them shady tactics around the token at the moment. And maybe shady isn't the best word, but unclear. There's no white paper and there's no tokenomics. So there's conflicting stories based around the distribution of the token between OKX and between their official documents and some of the materials they've been putting out. So I'm not going to dive into too much of this. There's actually in the Wolves DAO, we're cooking up a thread that by the time you watch this video, it might be released. So you can go check out that for more details on some of the discrepancies within the token. And so for me, as a potential retail investor, someone who, you know, maybe I want to buy this token to speculate because I don't actually know the breakdown of this token. We don't know the distribution. We don't know all the details. I think it's a lot more risky. That's just from my standpoint, and I don't have an appetite for that risk. So many of you might, and that's totally cool, but 
I don't personally. The other thing about Big Time is I've always found their traffic to be very inorganic. Like I said, they're very heavily on the KOL endorsed content, which is okay. It's a good form of marketing. I've just found that some of the biggest advocates saying the game of fun have been the ones that got access for free, not people who actually paid to access the game. And when it came to people that paid a lot of money to access the game, I was not seeing much from them saying the game was fun in the past. Now these people who paid high for the top tiers are actually making a lot of money. So they're all probably very happy. <laughs> but for the past little while, I haven't really seen much of that organic growth that we see some from some of the other games in the space. So for me, it's been a bit of a turnoff. And the other thing is that the game is very, very Web3 focused, but we're gonna touch on that more in a minute. In terms of buying the token, what it's gonna do from here, of course, like I said, I can't predict if the price is gonna go up or down. For me, I just not interested in buying it for the reasons I stated before, for what's unclear about the tokenomics, et cetera. And I just want you to keep in mind, if you're gonna dive into this game now, if you're gonna start buying the NFTs, if you're gonna start buying the tokens, keep in mind you're very late. And I say that from a retail investor standpoint. From a gameplay perspective, from having fun in the game, you're still very early. If you want to get in to have fun, yeah. go for it. But if you're getting in to make money, you're 18 months behind all these people that bought access to the game and have been holding these NFT passes for 18 months, playing the preseasons, getting NFTs that are going to give them items, purchase land for the game. So if you're looking at the token and you see the term preseason, you see the token just launched, you think you're early, you're really not from the retail standpoint. You're really quite late in my opinion. So I just also want to throw that out there for anyone who might be watching this video. In terms of lessons for the retail standpoint, I also think this is quite interesting because for the people who did get in 18 months ago, for the people who have been playing big time this entire time, with, for the gamers who have been following along, playing every iteration of the pre preseason, I can't remember what they call it exactly before this point, have now been doing quite well and now are getting rewarded for this conviction. And honestly, in that sense, this is quite nice to see that in this bear market, some of these gamers, some of these Web3 gamers specifically, are getting a big win with big time because they saw the game, they thought it has potential, they bought this NFT nearly two years ago, and now it's really paying off for them. And I think that is quite nice to see, the fact that that in this market, some of these strong convictions have started to pay off. Now we've seen other games that have collapsed, right? We've seen a few close their doors very recently. I'm making a different video about that. I'll put a link here eventually when it's up. And so it's nice to see a win in this space <laughs> in terms of that. Now, the last one, and maybe this is a hot take, but this is my own opinion. Big Time is doing something very anti-meta, I would say. They're going against the grain of most of the games in the Web3 space at this time. And what do I mean by that? Well, they've always been about buying NFTs to access the game. That was their whole premise, setting it up. You buy a higher tier, you get earlier access, you get better loot, and you get more financial incentives, right? They've always been around the NFT. They've done several NFT sales for items, for the passes, for land, founders, perks, etc. So there have been several different NFT sales. Now they're dropping a token and they're dropping a token in a market that's very rather bearish, which is interesting to see. And they're very focused around earning around earning the token, around getting NFTs as you play. And it's all very Web3 centric. And this is very counterintuitive to what a lot of Web3 games are doing in the space right now. Most games in the space right now are shifting their focus from Web3 players to Web2 players because the Web2 audience of gamers is much, much bigger than the Web3 audience of gamers. Most gamers in certain areas of the world, especially in the West, really hate NFTs, they really hate tokens, and they're not interested in this stuff. And so for me, when we have some games going so far as to reach out to content creators, asking them to take down videos that mention NFTs, because I'm seeing games do this, they're taking NFTs off of their website, they're going with the Reddit way where they call things digital collectibles, vaults instead of wallets, and they just have no Web3 terminology anywhere, so they can get on Steam, they can collect wish lists on Steam, and trying to do the very Web2 launch. That is kind of the meta right now, and big time is doing the opposite to that. So hats off to them for trying something different for sure. And maybe this will turn out to be an effective route. But for me, I have this suspicion, and this is maybe the hot take, that they're actually going to hurt themselves in the long run by focusing so much on NFTs and the token right now. Just my opinion, just my take here. Maybe I'm totally wrong. I'd love to hear your comments down below if you disagree with me or if you agree with me. But I do think by being so Web3 oriented, they're actually going to turn off most of the gamers in the world who would be their primary player base. And they're tailoring to a very small niche at the expense of a long-term success in their game. That's how it feels to me. Perhaps I'm wrong. Anyways, there's a lot of hype with big time. By the time you watch this video, maybe the token has blown up. Maybe it has dropped to nothing. Who knows? Anyways, that's all. Quick video on this one, but thank you for watching and I'll see you all very soon with another one.